Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to start the final area of the game. The final trial. Let's get it moving and listen to the new music. Well, that is certainly a foreboding song. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm going to do here is get out 40 reds, 40 blues, and 20 yellows in my plan. And hopefully this will work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will, though. And the rest are going to be yellows. Yeah, 20 yellow. That's pretty odd, isn't it? I mean, when, when do I ever use this many yellows? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, separate the crew here and take the blues over to this bridge for them to work on. This is basically a, a short puzzle level of sorts. Oops. One is over there next to the wall. Hey, wait, wait. Let me... Come on. <laughs> I want you to be with my team. There we go. So, yeah. Short puzzle level. And it's possible to do it in one day. Hopefully, I will manage this. And... I will go as quickly as I can. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. <laughs> yellows over this way. It's very important that you get them here. Carefully throw them over there. Use the steam jet to get yourself up here. Throw the yellows inside that pipe. And they should go woo and find some bomb rocks. All of them should. Wait. One straggler, of course. <laughs> Maybe I should have came here with more yellows, actually, but there's plenty more bomb rocks on the other side. You'll see once I uh, get over there. Gotta throw them back over now. And th the last throw back is really, really tricky. You gotta, you gotta like throw them with force. You gotta throw them with forward momentum, otherwise you will not be able to get them across there. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tricky to do that in the uh, GameCube version. It's much easier on the Wii version from what I've seen though. Alright, they are nearly done with that bridge. Oh, they're done with the bridge. Awesome. Alright, let's separate the team, get the yellows with the bomb rocks. Because clearly there's a wall to be taken down. This wall requires three bomb rocks. Save whatever other ones you have for the boss. Oop. One more. Oop. Good. And I'll once again separate the team. And get the blues and yellows, and maybe some of the reds. Not all the reds, though. Uh, I, okay, that's good. Wait, actually... Uh, no, wait, that's fine. I'm, I, I need ten reds for a box. Oh, no! Well, I'm not wasting time with them. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> wait, did one... Did that one survive somehow? Did it, like... How did... How did it survive? Did it, like, get glitched through the bridge and saved its- I don't know. <laughs> anyway, now you want to take your reds over here. And, yep, flame jets. This is why you need the reds. Plop them up there. Now, call them from down here. Walk them along this wall. And you can only get them so far until you have to go around this corner here. Just nudge him over to the box. Uh, fine, go, go, there you go. <laughs> they weren't going to the box when I uh, was using the C-Stick for whatever reason. Uh, that's okay. I just, I just dismissed them with the X button and everything was fine. Uh, touch these gently so they do not drop their bomb rocks. Oh, right, right, I got a yellow over there still. Oopsie. I should be a little more careful about my Pikmin resources. And they're done. Oh, they're done. Awesome. Now I gotta get all of them on the wall. Oh, everyone together. There we go. And that in the middle there is the final boss of the game. But I'm not going to be attacking it immediately. What I'm gonna be doing here is going around it so as not to wake it up. I'm gonna just... Shimmy my team. Come on around this corner. Just stay along the edges. Okay, they'll be fine over there. I don't know why I'm too worried about that. 
Okay, I just want to knock this wall down because there's bomb rocks behind here and it's just much easier to knock this wall down when he's not active. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to get the yellows for these bomb rocks here. They should start picking them up automatically. I'm going to get all the yellows filled up with bomb rocks actually. Uh, at least as many as I can. Just don't want them to drop the bomb rocks. That would be be pretty devastating when my team is right here. Um, okay. Uh, let's get these. There's a couple more over here that I can use. I probably have more bomb rocks than I need, actually. Um, I, oh, I'm, I'm on the wrong side. Dang it. <laughs> I have to go around the other way. And then after I get these filled up with bomb rocks, I'm going to go back around the front and then start battling the boss um, head on from, from the front, not from the back, because the terrain is just a little bit easier. And you're not, you're not, oh, there we go. I was going to say, you, you weren't finding anything in there? I know there's a ton of bomb rocks back here because they are extremely handy against the final boss. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm glad you guys didn't drop any bomb rocks. You were smart enough not to drop the bomb rocks. Okay. Oh, okay, I got 96. Uh, I think... Well, I gotta get my team set up for the boss. I gotta do it on this side, too, just to be cautious. 99, where is the last one? <laughs> oh, right there. Okay, separate. Just wanna get all the ones with bomb rocks together and then just want to get them all apart from the rest this is a, this is a game of strategy here but once you get this set up you'll you won't have too much trouble with this whatsoever okay ready here it is the final boss come on pop out ah there we go <laughs> it's emperor ball blacks Member of the Bulborb family, of course. And let's get a couple of these. Alright, he's gonna eventually go off to the side. And what you want to do here is... Just throw a couple Pikmin here with the bomb rocks. Then call him back when he's about to use his tongue. And let the bomb explode on his tongue like that. And it'll stun him greatly. Grab your team. Start throwing Pikmin with the C-Stick! Oh, I got a bomb rock one in there. Dang it. Call him off! Call him off! Call him off! Oh god, he can squish Pikmin underneath him. No! No! Wait! 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 Oh jeez. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. Everyone's okay. Well, okay, not everyone, but you get what I'm saying here. And he's gonna turn around. He doesn't go outside of his arena, so you don't have to worry about him attacking through the borders or something like that. All right, a couple of them. Throw them. No! 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 Oh shoot! Don't throw the bomb rocks. I want you to. There we go. And did that work? Did that? Yeah, it did work. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> Throw! Come on! Ugh! Curses! And that's pretty much the strategy you want to use there. And somehow, some way, some got left behind again. Dang it! <laughs> and this one doesn't seem to be. I mean, he doesn't seem to be interested in that one whatsoever. A couple more of these. Because the bombs do damage to him as well, so it's good to do that. Come on. And here we go. He's gonna do his tongue attack. And he is going to get blasted. And throw, 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 throw. <laughs> Come on! Kill him like you've never killed him before, and you haven't killed him before yet. <laughs> Alright. Couple more. This is your strategy, by the way. Just keep repeating until he's dead. And throw. Everyone together. And throw. <laughs> it worked so well! But I still am low on time on this day because he. Oh my god! <laughs> he's a little close to the edge here. Oh, I lost a lot of Pikmin there. But whatever. This game is nearly done anyway. I was a little bit careless there, just so I lost so many. Alright. Throw a couple there. And wait for him to come back around. There we go. Come back. 
Are we on together? Go, 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 go. <laughs> I think this might be the last round for him. Well, maybe not. Forgot how much HP this guy's got. He's got a lot, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, back together. Just want a couple of bomb rocks. Come on, baby. Throw them there. Come on over here. I know you want them. I know you want them. He's also got this jump attack where he can jump way up in the air and then pounce on Pikmin from a distance. It's probably more dangerous than his tongue is because it's more unpredictable, but it's still not all that big of a deal. On! Run, 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 run. Oh, 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 he almost got some of them. He's being a little bit too reckless there. All right, bomb rocks. Wait for him to move away. This should be his last round here. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, come around here. We're almost done. Just one more stun. Come on. Hey, how's it going? Oh, some got blasted, but that's okay. Go, go, go! Final attack! Final attack! And... Why aren't they doing much damage? Oh, there we go, he's dead. And this is the last ship part of the game. The secret safe! Yes! Yeah, he keeps his bank inside a safe, apparently. <laughs> I've found the final part in my secret safe, and it's as full as ever. How glad I am that I've persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hakatates. And let's talk to it one more time while... Well, Emperor Bulblax is still dying over there. Um, so I guess he's a pretty rich guy. <laughs> and Bulblax will be sinking into the sands. And I suppose you can carry those things back as well if you want to. But, eh, I'm done here. <laughs> uh, is everyone here? 42, 30... Yes, there, everyone is there. And you can get quite a lot of Pikmin on this thing, actually. The secret safe here, probably because it's so heavy that they that they just you know just plop on there. That they you know try and grab it and get it back there as fast as I they can. And they're gonna have plenty of time to get this back. And with that, looks like the walkthrough is over. Go guys, go! The day still isn't over. But no, nah, there's there's plenty of time in all honesty. <laughs> No, I'm gonna get rid of your bomb rocks. Just to... Oh, come on. Drop the bomb rocks. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Woo! I have finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hakatate. And this gives you the game's best ending. Eight bit sounds for the win. And the final time you'll be hearing this music. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for helping me get my ship parts back. You are great slaves. Alamar seems very sad. And I would be too. They're friendly critters and I would miss them. Woo! Uh oh! Now they're left to fend for themselves! Well, they seem to be doing pretty well. And there was no Bulbors in that area whatsoever. In fact, there was no enemies in that area whatsoever. And look down back at the planet. Look at all the different colors of Pikmin ships there. 
They knew what they were doing. They left room for sequels upon sequels. <laughs> Ah, what a beautiful thing. Goodbye, Earth. We will never see you again. Well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> and results screen, right? There we go. And obviously I could have did this in less days, but you know, I was showing you guys the optional stuff and whatnot along the way just for the fun of it. So there we go. Yeah, I, I, I started an entirely new save file on a different memory card just so I could keep backing up my saves along the way. So I'm not using my original save way, way, way back when I got this game when the GameCube was released or near when it was released. These are all the ship parts of the game, by the way. The ones in blue are completely optional and that's but not you know not when you're doing a 100% run of the game of course but you get what I'm saying here and with that let's save and look at the credits as I always say I did not make the game these awesome people did I just made the walkthrough on it to help out as well as entertain people and people have been uh, on me for a Pikmin 2, like for a walkthrough on Pikmin 2, but um, I don't really know if people understand Pikmin 2 all that much. I don't really know if you can make an effective walkthrough on the game. See, um, the underground areas of Pikmin 2, they are randomly generated similar to... Uh, mystery dungeon games, you know, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or Sheer in the Wander, that those sort of things. In that they're pr they're pre-rendered with certain kinds of landscapes and enemies in random p positions, um, treasures in random spots, traps in random spots, stuff like that. And I <laughs> I don't know if that's really walkthrough friendly. I, I mean, you wouldn't notice that sort of thing if you only go through the game, like, once or twice, because, you know, you don't really pick up on that thing, but if you but if you actually go through uh, the game a, a multiple times, you'll see, or I should say go through an area or underground area multiple times, you'll see that, that they're randomly generated, so I don't know how well I can make a walkthrough on Pikmin 2, so I don't know if it's really a game worthy of making a walkthrough on, other than for fun. I mean, you know, I, I, all the videos I make are for fun. I wouldn't play a game that I wouldn't have fun playing, of course, because my time is better spent playing something that I want to play, of course, just like anyone's. Um, so yeah, that's that about Pikmin 2, I suppose, and it looks like the credits are over. So that was good timing on that part. <laughs> oh no, wait, they're not. They're going to give a um, little enemy synopsis of sorts, like showing all the enemies' actions, their names, and stuff like that. Forgot about that until until now. <laughs> so, wow, it is storming outside like crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm making this at the same time I made the last part. So here's the armored cannon beetle, and Olimar is so stupid. Why would he just stand there while he, while the thing is sucking in air? Why would you stand in front of something that's sucking in air? And <sighs> and Beady Longlegs is not in a spot where he would normally appear here. <laughs> in fact, there's a glitch in that if you don't defeat Beady Longlegs and it runs outside its arena and falls off the edge, the game will freeze because it's not supposed to die that way. <laughs> so, whenever you uh, spawn beady long legs in the forest navel, kill it then and there and you'll be fine. <laughs> they got the burrowing snaggerets. Alomar certainly got himself in a bad position there. <laughs> I mean, he's got three of them around him somehow. And Is there even three in that area? I'm kind of unsure about that, in all honesty. I always remember seeing two, unless that's because I just circle around the area and just get to the main one and just leave the others. 
if there is three there. And I don't know why they're mentioning the candy pop bud, because I think they do that actually. Well, they're mentioning everything, but <laughs> but it's but it's not an enemy, is what I'm saying here. And the, their their eyes are pretty creepy, if you're asking me. The the dwarf bull bears there, but uh, they're still just as uh, weak. Well, not I mean they're stronger than the dwarf bull bear forms, but they're still really easy to defeat despite their uh, much more foreboding appearance. Oh, man. And Alamar does not have the right resources to take on Emperor Bulblacks. <laughs> oh, God, the fiery blowhog. And why is he not whistling those blue ones? Alamar is not the brightest bulb. <laughs> oh, and this game is definitely not kid-friendly. It teaches kids to use bombs to blow up animals. It just... Ah, how could they do such a thing? Ah, dang it. <laughs> and, whoa, there's Gulix in a really odd place. And the camera's got a really odd... pseudo-stretched angle to it as well. I don't know how they got that camera angle. This is probably all script itself. In fact, I bet you this is... Uh, um, some of the beta stuff, because I heard that... Um, some of the stuff that you see in the credits here are beta stuff that was either changed or just did not make it in the final game. Uh, like, in, in terms of enemy positions and stuff like that. Like, you see there's a ship part way in the back there that I I don't believe was way over there before. And, oh god, it's the Mamuta. The most harmless critter ever except the Olimar. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so silly, I, I can't help but laugh at that, but... Uh-oh, uh -oh. and there's some pearly clam clams, and I believe this is at the Distant Spring, actually. Uh... They are? <laughs> and they're actually gonna give a little, you know, tell us about the pellet posy as well, I suppose. Yeah, I thought this was just enemies, but I guess not. I guess they're telling you about every single thing in the game. They're, they're naming everything for me, even though I gave you all the names already. <laughs> Oh, now you guys can see what it looks like when the puff stool changes uh, Pikmin into their slaves, into slaves of their own. Oh no! They cut it off. My dreams have been dashed. <laughs> well, thanks, game. Thanks for not letting me show that. <laughs> oh, those sheer grubs! Such an, such an annoying critter. Because they always get a Pikmin once they get them in their mouths. I do like the um, dynamic camera angle that they're using for the credits here. Because it, it gives it the feel of um, like it being more cinematic than it would be in the uh, actual game. Oh god! Even though this is gameplay, but I mean it's, it's likely beta gameplay plus um, like unused camera stuff and whatnot. But that Smoky Prog, dear lord! <laughs> oh dear lord! <laughs> and the spotty bull bear. Ye what? Did that say it has certain indefeatability? I didn't read that in time. I, I doubt it would say that. <laughs> in uh, Pikmin 2, they actually have a um, a reviving sort of thing. Like when you kill them, they don't actually die. They start reviving themselves. And you can actually see it with their health gauge recovering, and if you don't take it back to the onion, they're going to uh, come back to life and they're start chasing you down. It's pretty evil. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is definitely beta footage of certain things. Because just look at the, the way the distance spring here is designed, along with the camera angle there. Uh, this, however, is not. <laughs> this looks exactly how it should be. Wait, actually, no. That computer wasn't here. In the main... Oh no, this, got, this has got to be something different then. Alamar, why would you swarm him while he's falling down? You idiots! <laughs> if not for me being behind the controls, Alamar would be just as helpless as the Pikmin themselves. Well, I, I suppose the Pikmin aren't all that helpless, but you get what I'm saying here. They're not the, the best here. <laughs> And if you get everything, you get the happy, and yeah, that happy is just added into it. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the walkthrough here. 
Well, it's not, it's not completely over. I mean, I still got the, the challenge mode and stuff like that to do. But I, I'm talking about I'm ending off the story mode here. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part when I start the challenge mode. Ta-da!